I was born and raised in the greater Seattle area. And one of the great joys of growing up around here and the thing that I love the most was, was coming to downtown Seattle. Going to the Coliseum for Sonics and great restaurants and taking ferry boat rides over to Bainbridge. Coming to the Kingdome for Mariners games. But it was all about what the city could do for me. When I became a Christian when I was 20 years old and I came back to Seattle, I moved back to Seattle and my heart was broken, convicted, because I saw that I could get back into that mindset of getting back to that place where, yeah, I wanna be in Seattle, I'm gonna move back to downtown Seattle, but why am I here? Am I here again just to take? Or am I here to give? And what Seattle needs most is people to take care of Seattle, people to serve Seattle, to love Seattle the way that Jesus loves us, the way that Jesus serves us. We're called to be salt and light. We're called to be the hands and feet of Jesus so that other people in our city could really know the grace and mercy of Jesus. And that was really the impetus for launching Mars Hill Church downtown Seattle almost five years ago. We, we prayed and we said, we want, to, we want to be a church for this city. We launched five years ago with a small community group in the heart of downtown Seattle, then replicated into other communities around downtown Seattle, into Capitol Hill, into Belltown, into Pioneer Square, in the International District, Lower Queen Anne, and, and throughout urban Seattle. Soon thereafter, we were able to find a building to gather in and it happened to be the most notorious nightclub in the city. By God's grace, we were able to, to get into this building and transform it, redeem it into a place where Jesus was worshiped and Jesus was glorified and he was served. And it was amazing to see what God did. We ran out of space a couple years ago and we realized that God was doing something much bigger than we ever dreamed or imagined. And we realized that we are at the beginning of what God wants to do in Seattle, the city that he loves. And so we, again, started praying that God would open up another door. But it was impossible to find a place in downtown Seattle, and we hit dead end after dead end. Finally, conversation was had with local developer and now owner of the historic property on Fifth Avenue. And the vision was cast about what it would look like to see this unbelievable structure restored back to its original purpose. Original founders, settlers of our city were men who loved Jesus. They invited a man by the name of David Blaine and they asked him to establish the first church in Seattle. David established First United Methodist Episcopal Church and Seattle, of course, began to grow. They built this unbelievably gorgeous cathedral. And for many years, it was, it was the heart of the city. It was built between 1904 and 1910. As Seattle began to suburbanize and people were moving out to the suburbs, this church began to, to struggle a little bit and people started to go to churches out in the suburb. And through the 50s and 60s and 70s, this church began to see their attendance decline. And it was very difficult to then continue maintain this, this beautiful, gorgeous structure in the heart of the city. And so they decided to sell their property to a local developer. And the building would get demoed and a skyscraper would get built on its place. And an uproar happen because it was a jewel of the Emerald City. A group actually called SOS, Save Our Sanctuary, and they formed it in opposition against the church. And what ensued was a 25-year battle that went all the way to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court ruled in the favor of the church. The church could sell the building to the developer. They owned it so they could do with it what they wanted. They came up with an idea to bring in another local developer who was also a preservationist. A deal was reached and the church was saved. 
The church five years ago held a deconsecration service on Easter Sunday as a way of saying that we are no longer worshiping Jesus in this building and they deconsecrated it and they went to a new location. The developer, he turned the church into a concert hall. And through much conversation and much prayer, the decision was made that the Daniels Recital Hall, formerly the First United Methodist Church, became Marshall Church, downtown Seattle. In 1853, David Blaine saw a, a picture of a majestic Seattle, a city where people were loved and served, where Jesus was honored. And here we are, Marshall Church, 150 years later, we see the same thing. Mm -hmm.